Hi, Rick Gideon, Colombian Ecclesia of God. I'm going to do one more video. This is the fourth one in a few minutes. I'm going to end on some good news. A lot of bad stuff going on out there. The world economies are retracting. Stock markets are going down. Uh, a lot of evil in the world. Sixty people killed over there in Paris, France. The migrant crisis continuing in Europe, which I believe is uh, going to assist in stirring up the European people, especially Germany, ultimately against the United States. Ephraim, the great assembly of peoples. Let's see if I get this mic a little closer. Uh, I'm going to end on good news. Good, the good news of the gospel that God is going to save all of mankind through Jesus Christ. Going to throw some scriptures out here. Um, God didn't create me give me an evil nature uh, which gave me no, no free moral agency, gave me an evil nature. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jeremiah 17, 9. And then put an evil angel over me on top of it. And, you know, to reject God, to have a nature that is hostile to the law of God and not even subject to the law of God, and then throw me in hell along with most of humanity for the rest of eternity. What kind of a God uh, do we serve? Well, uh, actually, religion makes you really stupid. So, John chapter 12, verse 32. Jesus said, And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, this is the New King James Version, will draw all peoples to myself. Now, peoples was inserted. So it says, And I, if I am lifted up, they're talking about the type, he's talking about the type of death he was going to suffer, and lifted up being he was going to be crucified. If I'm lifted up from the earth, will draw all to myself. I do believe that's the Greek word, paz. It's all. It means all, everyone. You can find that in Romans 5, but I got some other scriptures. So Jesus is lifted up and he's crucified. This then results. Let's go to John 1. In verse 29, because what he did, that powerful sacrifice by this man, this is what takes place. Because he did this. John 1, verse 29. The next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of one-tenth of mankind. Uh, Two-fifths of mankind, uh, three-fourths of mankind, no, who takes away the sin of the world. So the sin is taken away from the world. God is going to have all to be saved. Jesus said, I'm going to draw all people to myself. This is the good news in three stages. God commanded the Old Testament Israelites, three times in a year you will appear before me. At the, the feast of the Passover, the feast of first fruits, and the feast of great ingathering. So you're going to have a first fruit harvest. And when we accept that Passover, the Lamb of God, you're going to have a feast of great ingathering all of humanity at the end of the age or at the end of the thousand year age all the billions in the kingdom of God and then the second resurrection so we go now to John chapter 2 and verse 2 let's start in verse 1 my little children these things I write to you so that you may not sin and if anyone sins we have an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ the righteous and he himself is the propitiation 
for our sins and not for ours only. He's talking to the church, but also for the whole world. There you go. The whole world. Not only for us, but he's the propitiation for our sins and for the whole the whole world's sins. It's going to cover the whole world's sins. He takes away the sin of the world. One more scripture. John first John four yeah, first fourteen. Make sure I got it right. First John four and verse 14, And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of a few, Savior of the world. He's the Savior of the world. So, He's lifted up. He takes away our sins, the sins of the world, and He's the propitiation not only for the church now the first fruits but the whole world that's going to come kingdom of God second resurrection and he's the savior of the whole world not just a few thank you for your time thank you for listening